prayer for our world. God, you alone are worthy of honor, glory, and praise. And with you, we can overcome every storm, including the global impact COVID-19 is having on our world. Right now, we're asking you to heal those who are sick and protect those who are not. Give our leaders extra wisdom as they navigate this pandemic and economic uncertainty. Strengthen your global church. Reveal to us how we can partner together to reach the needs of those around us. And calm our fears. Fill us with your hope, joy, and peace as we continue to trust in you. And use this pandemic to pave the way for spiritual renewal. We want your glory power, and healing to be on display. Come, Lord Jesus, come. In Jesus' name, amen. Several years ago, I had a friend who was a student at Southern Seminary, Louisville, Kentucky. She was from Germany come over to study and uh, she was in church with me one day and we were singing and she had been looking through the hymnal and she said I don't understand you Americans I said okay what's it about this time and uh, and Ann said said all of the songs about the blood you're always talking about the blood you're always singing about the blood we, we'll do that at home why do you always talk about the blood Remarkably enough, today I want to talk about the blood and how important it is. Scripture says this, Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. Now throughout the law, and then even into the New Testament, there was this prohibition for the people of God against 
eating meat with the blood still in it or eating meat that had been strangled, the blood, the scripture says, is the life of the flesh. Life. Life has to be given in order for sin to be forgiven. Today I want to talk to you just for a few moments about the, the Day of Atonement. It's the, the second of the fall feasts of God. The first one was the, the Day of Trumpets. This one is the, the Day of Atonement. And this one called a Feast of God, but it's actually a fast day. It's a day for solemn reflection and contemplation. But it was a day when all males from Israel had to come to the place appointed by God and had to come for the sacrifices. A bull, two goats, a ram, sacrificed that day. And it was the annual sacrifice, the tenth day of the seventh month, just after the, the grapes and the olives have been harvested. It's the time to come for the canceling of debts, the canceling of sin against the entire nation. It's the one day of the year when the high priest goes into the Holy of Holies and there he offers the sacrifice that will cancel the sin of every person for the whole nation for the whole year. It really is a, a clean state, late, a, a starting over. It's described for us in Leviticus chapter 16, in uh, Leviticus chapter 23, in Leviticus 17. And then in the New Testament, the, the first disciples understood the Day of Atonement had been fulfilled by Christ. Jesus entered in, not to the human built, the the tabernacle built by human hands or the temple built by human hands, but he entered into the temple that is above and he offered his own blood in sacrifice that covers the sin of the world. Day of Atonement fulfilled in Christ Jesus. How else could our sin be forgiven unless the blood had been shed? What can wash away my sin, the song says? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. See, in Hebrews, the writer understood that and he said, you know, the, the blood of the bulls and the rams and the goats could never really take away sin. But the blood of Christ has atoned for us. One of the commentaries I read this, this week, it said, Think of the atonement is the at one -ment. Spell that out, at one -ment. We become at one with God when we allow Jesus to be the atonement for our sins. What a precious gift he's given to us. What a wonderful thing he's done for us. But it's important to note the blood the toning blood of Jesus. You see, in the Passover, Easter is coming, it's just a couple of weeks away, in the Passover, the blood was given and it was put on the doors, but that blood was effective to compensate for death. But in the fall feast, in the fall festival, the Day of Atonement, that blood is effective to cancel debts, to cancel the sin, to cover it, to erase it, to make us at one with God, to renew us in relationship with Him. I'm so thankful for this celebration on the 10th day of the seventh month for the Jews, uh, sometime in late September, early October for us, when we can celebrate all that Jesus has done to purchase our pardon and our atonement. Think on these things, my brothers. Think on these things, my sisters. For it is in the blood of Christ that your sins 
are forgiven. Thank you.